And that's why I'm getting Ooh. nothing for Christmas. Yeah. Well, Aww. I tell you, do Listen. that once and you're screwed. Yeah. Yeah. I'm lucky I didn't go to jail. You are lucky. Mm. Yeah. Um, yeah. You know, listen, it's it's it'll be okay. I might get you something, but I doubt it. Uh, I'm not going to hold my breath. Yeah. Well. Um, oh, but speaking of that. Yeah. Speaking uh-huh. of that, you got something. I did. You did. Can I? Can I? Can I get it for you? Yeah. You got a present. Oh no. Did you get him? What I'm is like it? Santa Claus. What? You got me a present. So cute. Can I open it now? Open it? Oh, no, you have to. Okay. What's in the box? Yeah. What's in the box? What's, what's in the box? <laughs> Ooh. Oh, it it's like a little ASMR toy. It's a toy. Ooh. Oh, shit. <laughs> what is it? you got to do that soft. Wait, what is that? Tim. We can't it's... see it. Is it a little you? <laughs> Yukon Cornelius. <laughs> Yukon Cornelius. Cornelius. Come on, Cornelia. he looks like Yukon Cornelius from Rudolph, Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer. Oh my Actually, God. Eric got you that. <laughs> this is Eric's fucking best. Thank man. you, Eric. Come on, Eric. Come on, like that's Eric. That's so you. Yeah. Grow that mustache out, put your toque back on. I need, yeah, I should have worn my beanie. It, but you can put yeah. it on, like, put then, it on Twitter mm-hmm. and put it on the circle community so we can see it. Exactly. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'll put it right here. Everybody can there stare at Yukon. My, uh, it really, it's a mini me. It's it a is. Mini it is. It's very cute. It's, it's mini totally you. Yeah, yeah. Well, thank you, PJ, for that. I've been waiting. It was at the party. Eric. Oh, really? It was at our Christmas party. Christmas yeah. <laughs> Just sitting there. That's too funny. I could have had it. I could have had it for this whole time. Yeah, well, um, I kind of wanted to do it. I know. <laughs> I knew. I like how you were thinking ahead to the bit. I know. Thinking, for the bit. Mm-hmm. thinking for the uh, bit. So what are we doing today, Uncle to, Drew? Today, uh, well, I want to welcome our our lovely, my lovely friends today for this our final episode of 2023, uh, where we do the best of trailers uh, for from this year. Um, wow. I know. So we watched a lot of trailers this year. Uh, we've had like over 29, 30 episodes of trailer talk, and that's a lot. We watch wow. av- like two trailers, usually an episode, sometimes more mm-hmm. on big days. So that's a lot of trailers, guys, that we've watched. Um, and so I, I asked everyone here, I asked PJ, Stephanie, and Pagan, and myself, we've all chosen what we think are our two favorite trailers of the year, what we think is the pinnacle of trailer. Um for that something that just gets excited us, right? Like that that makes us like say like I want to go see that movie. Something that's just like like an art form that just is that sells this thing that we love, film, movie, or a video game, whatever it is. Uh, and we just wanted to. I think we're going to go through. We're going to do a little round robin, um, and we're going to yeah. show a little. We're going to talk a little bit about the trailer, and then we're going to show a clip uh, so that you guys can kind of remember because it's been a while for some of these trailers. Mm-hmm. Um, and some of them you're going to be like, yes. Um, and that, that's good too. Um, normally we talk about news, but we have so many trailers to talk about. I kind of feel like we should just kind of jump right in. What do you guys think? Let's go. You kind of want to just like jump Let's in the do trailer? This. Yeah. Unless there's sure. anything you want to talk about. No, no. Cause no. you didn't get me a Christmas present. So I don't want to fucking say anything. <laughs> <laughs> I got you this. Mm. I got you this. Got that from the retro replay. So no, man. Look at that cute little snowman. Yes. He's up to no him good. If you want He's him. got a secret I, little smile. I, I do want to say though, like, I don't know if you, if you're watching it and not listening, if you're, if you're listening as a podcast, you're not going to get this, but you'll notice that there is one stocking and it's mm-hmm. PJ. I don't, I don't have a stocking. We can't see it. It's no. kind of out of frame, but. Yeah, well, we lost yours. Uh, yeah, oh, a lot lost. Okay. lost, like air quotes. Yeah, lost. Yeah, I think it's in storage. Yeah. Trash. It was lost in a little storage fire. Trash. Aww, yeah, God. Mm. It was, it's it in storage. Cool. That's, Thanks. That's, that's, like so. my mom used to say, "Oh, I got you a gift at the engravers." <laughs> yeah, you know when my mom engravers? used that line. It's at the engravers. You, you didn't no get anything. Gift. You, you didn't nothing. get anything. Oh my God! Thank you. I got you something too, but it's at the engravers. <laughs> I got you this pack she of gum. Must have, I like. She must have used that line so many times. Would oh, she have man. had to then like go get something? To oh no, fuck! She wouldn't. No, no. <laughs> she just ended up not ever getting it. You know, they got lost at the engraver. But like the seventh know. year, you say that it's like yeah, right, yeah. Okay. seventh year. Yeah, right, right. <laughs> wow, that must be a really big engraving. You know, yeah. it's like yeah, one yeah. day she's gonna come with this like giant. It's a giant plaque. It, uh, yeah, yeah, it's a long running joke. It's at the engravers. Yeah. That means you ain't getting anything. It's no, like, that's that's the same thing last year, just a different color. Yeah. <laughs> it's initials. <laughs> getting your initials. All right, let's jump into it. Best trailers mm-hmm. of 2023. Pagan, why don't you kick us off? I'm gonna kick us off. So um I assume that we're all gonna like talk a little bit about our trailers and then we'll run all of them together. Is that the mix here, Drew? 
Well, I thought you would talk. You would tell us the trailer, the uh-huh. first trailer, and then let you would say like, "Let's roll a clip." Oh, okay, clip. okay. He's fair. got it queued up, girl. He's ready. <laughs> All right, okay. Well, it's like high tech shit over here. Okay, the first trailer that I'm going to talk about is the Book of Clarence. I think the Book of Clarence was one of the funniest trailers that I saw this year, but also just so unique. Like it was such a cool take on stuff. Like we've seen stuff like. Kind of, like kind of similar before in terms of like the life of Brian style, but I really just lo- thought this was a really cool like con man in the era of Jesus kind of style. Thought it was really unique and I thought it was very funny. So, do you guys want to see a clip? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Let's have a look. Let's have a look at the clip. All right. Press and play. Three, two, one. Play. Oh, Jesus of Nazareth. Oh, you can't even buy power like that. I love that shot yeah, this still. Is good. I want to be like that in 10 years. I do want to see this movie really bad. Right? I want to be like that now. Like you can see his brain hatch the plan. Mm-hmm. Uh, just the music hits. Oh, no, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah it just shows the crockery of shit right Oh, we've lost it. Uh, okay. That was good. I like yeah, it. Oh, so, so who's he in the whole Jesus story? Who does he become? He, it, we don't know. He's oh, the Book know. of Clarence. It's oh, the so book he's of... just Clarence, like the Book of Biff. Yeah, 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 yeah. exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It also features yeah. James McAvoy, who plays Pontius Pilate, and then later on he gets, like, I guess accused of fraud. It just it looks really, really interesting and well-developed. It looks like, like you know, the, like it just caught, like, con artistry in the time of Jesus was kind of genius idea. And I think it is playing on that idea that people are just like, well, what if like this whole thing was a ruse and it was just a con and all this. So I think that's a really cool. uh, It looks like a really cool script. So that's the product that I'm very excited for. One of the best trailers I saw this year. Yeah, I agree. I I like that trailer, too. I think it it was funny when we watched that trailer. And I don't know if it like during trailer talk, it came at that like that time when we I guess it was sort of like. We wanted just, something different. Yeah, yeah. We were mm-hmm. like watching like superhero trailer after like mm-hmm. another like kind of like uh, like genre? a did no, I not call yeah, that? no, you did, you did, and and <laughs> it was just like we watched the trailer and we're like, wow, you know, like it like the like you could see it all like kind of like in our heads. We were all just like super jazzed about this kind of like original, interesting idea. Yeah, uh, mm-hmm. and I think the trailer got that across really well. To your point, um, it was kind of cool. Yeah. Um, it's one of my favorites. Really? Does she do her second season. one now? No, no, no. It's oh, we're round round round. round yeah, round yeah. Round. So you're mm-hmm. up, PJ. You're up. I'm up. Yeah. Okay. So mm-hmm. I tend, I find that we tend to judge trailers based on what we think the movie's going to be like, or if it's a prequel, we talk a lot about the movie. But to me, it's like the trailer's got to stand on its own and do one job. And that job is get my ass in the theater or yeah. push play. Right. right? Sure. So no statement about this movie. I just thought this trailer did this job. I wasn't going to see this movie, but I saw the trailer. I'm like, oh, yeah, I'm seeing this movie. So it's Furiosa and play this clip. Okay. All right. Here we go. Three, two, one. Give me this promise. They set it up perfectly. And that sound, yeah, God, like, and then, like, like, oh, like the scrolling text, the text, so text. Good. and that, so good. that sound, and then the, the expanse of it, and the yeah. impending doom. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like, I, it's like <laughs> it's yes, so and good. they tell you why you got to watch it. I'm like, this is her odyssey. I'm in. Yeah, I'm in. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's the it's Boom. the Ooh. like saturation or something like like the colors and that. Yeah, well. for a movie yes. that for a movie that is such a popcorny kind of limited movie it's hard to make the truck because the rest of the trailer is kind of seen it done it you know sure but this mm-hmm. m- this made me want to watch this and i had no intentions of watching this yeah so for me that's why i, I thought it was a great trailer yeah I, I, it, it's one of those trailers where like what i can't wait to go to the movie theater to see this trailer <laughs> you know you know what i'm saying like it's oh, just yeah. the the scale of it and the text coming mm-hmm. in i'm gonna be like whoa oh, yeah. like i feel like if you see this movie in like a big like rpx or imax or something this trailer comes on and you're gonna mm-hmm. be like hell yeah i'm getting a ticket right like just based on uh what you've seen right there that's it does- uh, unfortunately it didn't to the it wasn't until the end of the trailer that i actually saw things that i 
that I wanted more of because otherwise it was just chasing cars. Like, do you remember mm. when Thunderdome came out and yeah. they put him in that cage? That was like, fuck yeah, I'm gonna go see that one now. Because you're the Mad Max, where are you gonna go from there? And then well, they put, uh, yeah. they put what's your face up there in a yeah. weird outfit in a cage match with cars. I'm like, I'm there. I'm I mean, there. the Thunderdome is a little bit of it's like, an awful movie. It's an yeah. awful movie, but that trailer, <laughs> it's, it's like something. they knew what to do. It's definitely something. So uh, Mad Max Beyond the Thunder. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's funny. Do you guys have any thoughts on uh, Furiosa? No, it looks good. It does actually look. Did you really want to add? Can't can't fault the trailer yeah, I... specifically. Like so good. Yeah, I think we all kind of left that, and we're like, "Yep, we'll see that." Yeah, that's good. That, yeah. We're all gonna go <laughs> watch that. I think I definitely no had things I wanted to change in the trailer, just like you know, from like a. Mm-hmm. CGI oh, yeah. standpoint like you, you know like just certain out. things like I was like a little annoyed and now I can't unsee it so now it's like I kind of ruined it for myself but at the same time I'm like I'm still excited I still want to see it but yeah yeah it's it's that damn film I <laughs> yeah no I remember you you called you caught yeah, some you stuff did. where you were like it looks a little CGI it doesn't look quite yeah. done yet you know and it's interesting they chose some of those that end shot I remember you talking uh-huh. about when she pulls her mask down <laughs> just feels a little off right like there's something mm-hmm. off about it um, it's a little soft but yeah maybe it's yeah. just that like old school film lighting you know they just want her to look like that that beauty lighting i don't know yeah maybe <laughs> are we talking about furiosa yeah At the yeah. End scene, yeah. yeah 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 but with yeah, that yeah. arm though where she has that arm in oh the it's awesome fuck, i got it gave, what is that alia alia you ever see that robot one uh what the fuck is it called alia alia She's a robot. Oh, it's, it's a weapon. Love that movie. The creator? No, 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 oh. no, no, no. Way back. We're Are you talking back. about the uh, Scarlet? Oh. No, remember they make a make a robot and she's a little girl and she wants and she turns into this ultimate weapon. No. Oh. Yes. Alia. Yes. Alia. Yeah. It's a, Alia. Yeah. Alia. yeah hmm. In the chat, really if you know, movie. please. It's please a really help good us. movie. You, you know this movie. <laughs> I probably somebody do. smarter than me. I know. So Alita. 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 Oh, Alita, the battle angel. Yeah. Yeah. yeah the yes. animated. The animated. Thank you, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Thank you Isaiah. <laughs> I'm thinking like I don't know like some kids a bomb. Oh, like one letter off. Yeah. Like it's one letter <laughs> off. As as Isaiah, <laughs> me people, post, stick with post me post here. Though. Isaiah in the yes. chat got you, buddy. He knows yeah, where you're yeah. going. Yes. Yeah, yeah. 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 My sister for a while. Got weird. Uh, 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 Isaiah, let you know. Listen, you know, <laughs> it's okay. Sisters are fair game. Okay. Um, Stephanie, what is your oh, pick boy. for best trailer 2023? You know, this was hard. This was a hard choice because, you know, we had so many good trailers and, you know, I was like, do I do like all serious? You know, I could have done like, you know, I forgot this morning. I realized like, ah, I should have done Oppenheimer. But, you know, it's okay. I wanted to do a comedy and I wanted to do something that we had watched the trailer and then I liked it so much I went and saw it. Um, And this was really funny. I feel like at the time, like the trailer perfectly without seeing the movie captured what it was going to be about what you're going to get what the comedy was like the satire so i chose no hard feelings um and i absolutely loved it it gets me every time <laughs> so um that is our my first trailer nice run the clip drew i'll all run right. the clip all right three two one Daddy, you've just been so worried about our son we want you to get to know him don't just date him but also date him Date him hard. I'll date his brains out. <laughs> date him hard. <laughs> Animal shelter. Hi. Mind if I touch your wiener? What? Your dog. <laughs> How about I give you a ride home? This is in the way to my house. It's a shortcut. Such a good trailer. What you got down there? <laughs> choose a clip from this movie because i was just like i love it but everything about it and i love i love the relationship between those two characters and it is so awkward watching her like you know trying to date this like 19 year old but she's doing it because she needs a car and she doesn't have the money to buy a car so it's like you have all these different aspects and he's like a kid he's got helicopter parents like it's just yeah, it's so funny, and I just love the grow up. You're 19. Like, <laughs> is the movie worth a watch? Then, like, have all of you guys seen it, or just Steph? I I've seen it. I my opinion is this: it's one of those ones where the trailer oversold it. 
I thought that I thought I, the yeah. trailer was better than the movie. Yeah, it was like Green see. Knight. I wanted to see Green Knight so bad, and that movie sucked ass. <laughs> the trailer, I'd watch the trailer ten times. Okay. But the, the same with this movie. I, but I couldn't get over the beauty pass they did on her in the thing where they were trying to wipe her eyes, the bags out from under her eyes. Like the beauty pass on that movie, I could not stop looking at it. Really? Yeah, and I that, that. that bugged me. I thought they made I her look pretty just raw. I, love her. I thought, like, like yeah. you I was tell, You can tell when they didn't. They did a quick shot and it was a side, and they didn't do the beauty pass. And then it would cut the straight on with her, and it's like this was just wiped clean. Really, like flat. Really? Yeah. Because when I watched it, I was thinking, I was like, "Wow, this is like the most like un, like beautified I've seen Jennifer Lawrence." Yeah, that's movie. what I was thinking. Yeah. You, know, you know, like this is the least <laughs> amount of makeup I think Bring she's worn in Bring a movie. movie up, and I'll show you. I and oh, maybe no. it's from sitting room beauty passes in a Disneyland for hours and hours. Yeah, and hours maybe. And no well, one maybe. closer, but I could not get over the beauty pass, and I just. I didn't like her by the by two thirds into the movie. I was yeah. like, I don't like her anymore. I'm done with you. Mm. Yeah. Go away. I, I, Let's I, watch the trailer again. <laughs> <laughs> no, I agree. I think the you know stuff. It's a great trailer because I think it, it's one of those trailers that I you laugh out loud in the movie. Mm-hmm. Was that made for us? Like Skyler loved the movie. Skyler thought the movie. Was uh, I, I yeah, think maybe we're the, just not the target audience. Yeah. Maybe, maybe it's maybe for a little younger. I, I wanted it to be so. Good. I agree. I think the joke density in the trailer is off the charts. The yeah. problem mm-hmm. is the joke density in the movie doesn't follow the same cadence in the. So the movie's not as funny as the the trailer makes it, but it's still a funny movie. It's just more. Mm-hmm. It's less it's Judd different. Apatow. It's more sort of like rom com, like not rom com, yeah. but like on the level of joke density. You see what I'm getting mm-hmm. at? I guess what sure. I'm saying. It's like it's not a. But we're judging trailers. No, it's I know, and it did. Trailer. It did a great. It's trial. a great trailer. Yeah, yeah. It did a great yeah. job uh, setting that trailer up. All right, uh, I'm four for four. What's oh Drew? Drew's got one. Yeah. So um, this trailer, guys, I, man, I I didn't know anything about this movie um, or trailer. Or anything really and um it, when we watched the trailer on trailer talk i didn't know what to expect all i knew was that it had like this a-list cast and it was mm-hmm. done by the same director as like um the 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 kingsman and and that like matthew vaughn so i was like okay i dig his movies i really like his style and his action um so i'm interested to see what the trailer's about and then the trailer came out and i'm like i am more confused and blown away than than i should you know you know how most trailers kind of give away everything this trailer sort of like tells you what's so much and then i'm still have no idea what's like going on though. yeah like in this though. movie and i was like that's really cool and then the editing style is just i'm going to show you a clip in a second where the editing is just done to the point where it just punches up the the um it's what matthew vaughn does best he he does great action but he does action in like a sequence that feels almost like a dance like it feels like and then they cut the music and the the sound design in the trailer to that kind of dance rhythm and it it just works it just feels like you're like i want to see this uh so let's roll the clip for argyle uh by matthew vaughn starring uh bryce dallas howard and sam rockwell all right Whoa, hey! Oh, kitty. Oh, my God. <laughs> knock, knock. Really you hear that? <gasps> I love Sam Rockwell. Oh, my gosh. I am such a fan. Oh, yeah? What is it you do? <laughs> SPN. <laughs> Would you sign my book? Ah. Oh, no. Here we go. Kill a pen. Here we go. <laughs> this looks so cool. This book. So cool. book. <laughs> <laughs> It just keeps oh ramping up. Oh, <laughs> so good. I was away this day. <laughs> oh, kitty. Oh. <laughs> I love the well, so and then good. I'm surprised is this out yet? It's not out yet. Um, and I'm surprised oh, wow. we didn't watch the trailer with you because uh, the song, and I don't know if you caught it yet, but the song that they're mixing and it, it kicks in right after this clip. It's uh, it's an Elvis song. It's um, mm-hmm. uh, caught in a trap. Um, yes, because yeah. I love mm-hmm. you too much, baby. Yeah, and it's suspicious but it's like mind. suspicious minds thinking yeah. it's got like this nice remix in the trailer. Thank you, two seconds before they said it. <laughs> Don't worry, oh really? Babes. I heard uh, you. Yeah. My female Thank you. Ears. Thank you. 
So with you, yeah, feel, with, I feel your, heard. with my female, <laughs> I can't hear you over the sound of we my were, maleness. We were distracted because we were trying to find a harmony. So, <laughs> yeah, totally. yeah. which we didn't find. It was yeah. awful. Uh, <laughs> everyone's ears are bleeding right now. Be like, never do yeah. that again. Never um, claim to be. Sing, yeah, never maybe sing don't do a unison. barbershop quartet. Maybe nope. just don't. Yeah, don't do no, it's the one thing on my resume that I do not have. I've done a lot of my life. <laughs> yeah, recording music is not one of them. Yeah, singing in general, not good. Yeah. So, I, and what's crazy, and if you deep dive into this trailer, I, I think we were talking about this at the Christmas. Show. I was talking to Stephanie about this trailer, uh, this movie too. It's like so fascinating. The more you, I learn about this movie, like I was like reading about it. It's, it was there's an it's it was a book that hasn't come out yet called Argyle, and they optioned the book before the book, uh, they optioned the movie before the book came out. They're making the movie. The book still isn't out, but oh. the author <laughs> in the movie is being played by Bryce Dallas Howard. So, she wrote herself into the novel being played by Bryce. It's like this got this meta thing. And then the trailer is mm -hmm. all about her, what she writes comes to life. And now the book is going to come to life. I am like, literally my mind is exploding. <laughs> just trying to explain to you like what's happening in like the, the universe of what, how this movie's being made. Yeah. Uh, so I'm just super fascinated by it. I thought the trailer was done. February. Yeah. I February. thought the trailer was done really well. Uh, mm -hmm. And it just sold me on it. I don't know why. Um, would, got, would it have been as good without Sam Rockwell? No, come on, Sam Rockwell's incredible. Yeah, he, he, he makes it. He does make uh, it. He's, he's so really good in that he, genre. He's the same guy that he is in Mr. Right, though a little bit. Mm -hmm. kind of he little, is little, yeah. playing the same. He's very similar. I love yeah. him. Don't Just minus the really Hawaiian like shirt and yeah, and the yeah. beard. And yeah. And yeah. So yeah. Oh man, but yeah, I can't wait. I'm uh, I'm gonna date night. We're getting a babysitter. We're gonna go see that one. All right, round the robin. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, after actually, let's take a quick break. We'll do a mid roll pause mm -hmm. for some ads. Uh, and then we'll be right back for some our second round of trailers that we loved. So not 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 four trailers, but eight great trailers. We're gonna walk, talk what? about. You're still talking. I know. We'll and right we're back. back. Are we back? <laughs> we're back. We're back. We're Might back. as well I be think back. We're back. We're back. It sounds good to me. Um, all right, Pagan. Do you want to kick us off uh, again with round yes. two? Sorry, I'm very excited about this. This comes out on Friday. <laughs> I was like, finally, they <laughs> shut up. Yes, shut yes. up. Let me get to this clip. No, really, though, it does come out on Friday. I'm very excited to see it. It is, of course, Rebel Moon by Zack Snyder. Comes out Friday? It does, because yeah. on Friday, 22nd oh, of I'm December, excited. let's go. Um, it's very cool. It's obviously a pitch that he pitched for Star Wars. It was rejected, and he's like, mm, fuck you guys. I'll do my own thing. And it's awesome. So I, I don't know what else to tell you. It's very snack, Zack Snyder style. I really like Zack Snyder. So I think this is going to be awesome. And it looks really cool because it has kind of got those like those what themes the of like, like you don't want to know i heard that bad, bad guys uh, taking over and then like a rebel resistance it looks good all right i'm gonna roll the clip all right three two one roll the clip. i snuck up like logo redid it's so cool so, so epic oh, they won't just kill us will they you're delusional do you think those soldiers will show them mercy? Oops. I feel off, but it's okay. Stop. Please. Hi. You're dead. Like, the stunts look fight. so cool. You know? It looks sick. Oh, boy. It looks sick. <laughs> I do, yeah. I do Sadly, love the... the sound on whatever clip is playing is off for me. I don't know what it was, but anyway, oh, sorry really? about that. But it does look great. The stunts look fantastic. Uh, I don't know anything, obviously, other than the story is set kind of like futuristically. Other mm -hmm. than that, it looks fucking sick. Looks great. And I hear that it's coming out Friday, right? Yeah. But the reviews yeah. I hear are atrocious. It's all the reviews for Zack Snyder's shit is always atrocious. <laughs> But I thought Just he had a great fan base and loves up. everything he does. <laughs> he's got, he's a polarizing. Well, those are critic uh, reviews, right? Yeah, those are critic reviews. Oh, critic. oh they hate yeah. him. So. Yeah. 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 I don't know. I, I don't think the trailer sold it for me. I mean, yes, it's in my wheelhouse. I'm fucking watching this. I love Zach. I like everything. And I'm doing this. But for a trailer, I thought with, they had such some really cool elements. I wanted to see a little bit more of those to really bring this home. Like when it starts with that foot lane coming down, like I'm like, okay. You know, mm -hmm. kind of had me already. Sure. But uh, it was a little, you know, John Wicky. It was, you know, like any other sort of fight film. I would have liked something more unique as a trailer. Yeah. 
I, but, I, I like but that it. doesn't mean I'm against this. I love this. Yeah, I like. I, I think it did a really good job of being like, listen, this is going to be an epic sci-fi movie. Like, you're going to see some really cool things. Uh, like, I love that shot where she's like, we got to fight, and he shoots him, and everybody's like, oh, shit. Like, yeah. You know, like, that's a great uh, moment to show in a trailer because it just sets the stage. Mm-hmm. I think that... I, that clip, gotta and, fight. Yeah, but then she just executes a dude, like, literally straight up, and you're like, fuck mm-hmm. yeah. Like, that, you know, like, and and then right there, and you know what kind of movie you're into, which is exactly. which is cool, too. Mm-hmm. Um, and I like the ensemble that they got. Like, it's like this idea of, like, the building ensemble. Um but I, but I kind of slightly agree with you. It just doesn't, like, I don't know what it is about it, but I just wanted more. Like, you know, like, I want more from Zack Snyder, and I hope he delivers. I want, I'm definitely going to watch it. Um, and, uh, and Friday. In the theaters? No, no it's, Friday uh, on Netflix. Netflix. Uh-huh. Yeah, it's Netflix. Netflix. Yeah. I know it, what I'm doing. Yeah, it looks really good. The, like, the soundtrack is amazing. The coloring of the trailer is very good. It just, it has a lot of Zack Snyder tropes, and I think, like, that's yeah. what also grav- gravitates me towards this. Like, it just, I feel like, like I really grab onto this. I think it looks really good. Yeah, I yeah. I'm gonna see it. I, I'm in for Zack Snyder tropes, like the slow mo diving with the yeah. spear to like yeah, kill yeah, somebody. Yeah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. The spear, the really, <laughs> like, the really mm-hmm. sick so cool. soundtrack. It's the same yeah. as the BBS um, composer. I'm like, this is fucking. Yeah. Like, it's such sick music and Man of Steel. Like, come on now. Oh man, yeah. I'm in. The Man of Steel score is top top tier. Yeah. Um. Absolutely. Yeah. No, I, I, I hope that I want Zack Snyder to do great. I want him to continue to make him good, 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 good content because he kind of makes stuff that's like, like if I was a kid, like if I was uh, like if I were to be a, if I was to be a director, I'd probably choose the same type to make the same type of stuff that he's making. You know what I'm saying? Like my nerd brain, mm-hmm. like in his nerd brain, I feel like are similar, like yeah. we like those things, you know, so um, I want him to continue to make more of that, that content. Thank that's you. great uh pj you're up buddy what is your second and final trailer it was a, it was a teaser right it was a teaser yeah mm-hmm. and i it was literally i believe and i'm going out on a limb here best teaser ever made oh, none. yes all agreed right. all right agreed. I, I mean you know just let it speak for itself and then i'll explain oh, yeah. why all okay. right yeah. i will do i will give a slight caveat to you pj this yeah. trailer technically came out in 2022 at the end of 2022 but Very that's true. okay it's still it mm-hmm. still tracks because it, was oh, it the life really the life whole of technicality on air you could have told me that yesterday well yeah i <laughs> wanted to kind of you know rub it rub your nose in it a little bit you know go right. playing it three two one play. oh so good since I love the, the beginning colors. of time since yes. the first little girl ever existed oh you're starting the whole thing there you're doing the whole been thing doll well it's a short short teaser it's a short teaser, yeah. But the dolls were always and forever. This was that dolls. fire movie, right? The that fire. Um, so he's copying that. No, uh, Planet of the Apes. So it's 2001. Or 2001. Thought it was that fire. So good. <laughs> so it's from this point here. You saw it in the little girl's eyes, yeah. right? And she's like, "Oh my God, my life has changed." <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's how we all felt when we saw Barbie. Perfect Barbie. Barbie. Yeah. Perfect yeah. Barbie. And then this is the best. Yeah. This is just the best. Like, out with the old. <laughs> like, it's just <laughs> violent. It's just violent. It's so smart. Yeah, it's so smart. It's so smart. And then the... Yeah, then, not, then I was out. I'm out now. So good. What? No, no, I like the movie. Don't get me wrong. Oh. Love the movie. But the trailer, the trailer like if that was just the trailer, like... that's why yeah. you know, the people started shitting on it because it looked like a you know a confectionary throw up. But the, that the beginning part showed the smartness of what the movie was. Yeah. 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 Does mm-hmm. that make sense? Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Yes. Greta, Greta Gerwig. I mean, yeah. <sighs> She's you, my girl. That's she did something. I remember really... when she started acting and just like trying to get it. Oh, she she's great as odd. an actor. Yeah, I like her. Yeah. Well, it, it, when when someone just has a f- like, I think what that teaser did is like someone left her status just as a firm grasp of the story she's trying to tell, right? And mm-hmm. then and then subverting it right through yeah. a trailer that we all know through pop culture, right? Like she just understood the mission. And, yep. and and how to deliver it and but even from a marketing standpoint right like someone is so dialed into what she's what she's going to do with this movie that she could create a trailer that was just so on point 
like that mm-hmm. is because i think is, if they had done the other part first yeah i think people would have shit on it a little bit too maybe much. maybe yeah i mean i think if, when margot robbie was signed on it was everybody was like yeah and ryan yeah. gosling like check i'm going Honestly, to see that <laughs> yeah margot robbie Ro- margot robbie made that casting too just because i remember it was first like it was amy schumer and i was like oh really i was like amy okay schumer. no and i was like that's gonna be weird and i was yeah. like okay and then Margot Robbie, and I was like, oh, she's perfect. And she literally is, like, the embodiment of, like, stereotypical Barbie. Like, what you think of when you think of a Barbie. And I'm like, Could okay. Could anyone like... else do that role? No. Hmm. I mean, I don't know. I'm sure there's somebody I mean, if you there, showed but... me other people, maybe yeah. there'd probably be other people. But, like, as yeah, far as, like, head, though, immediate no. thoughts, no, I can't I really think of anyone. Yeah, she I was... don't know. You know what? Uh, you know what? Who looked really inter- like Ana de Armas as uh, Marilyn Monroe? Um, yeah. Oh, uh-huh. actually, I thought was a pretty like I didn't, when you look at Ana de really Armas, like you don't movie. like look at seamen, but she looked like Marilyn Monroe. Yeah, like I was like, holy, yeah, wow. Like, mm-hmm. um, and to me, that is like her. I like Marilyn Monroe. Like, I like the curvy, like more embodiment of like a female figure than I do like the super like Barbie, like sticky figure kind mm-hmm. of Barbie. But sure. that's just you know, a, I guess maybe a guy's personal preference. But, um, but yeah, that that to me was. Uh, she she i think would have done an interesting take on that as well yeah that's interesting yeah um uh, yeah that was a great teaser i i remember being so excited when that came out and i was just like this is so cool and that 2001-esque opening i was like oh this is great and i was like good. i hope that's in the movie because it's just it's yeah. yeah it is 2000 i was thinking quest for fire where they're sitting around trying to get the fire started. That's where I, when that opening scene, that's what I thought of. But yeah. you're right, it's 2001. Yeah, and even, like, she carried that idea throughout in the later trailers, too. Like, there was even a trailer before, like, close to the movie came out that was really mm-hmm. smart, was, like, um, if you even if you don't like Barbie, mm-hmm. <laughs> this movie's for you, right? Like, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, it was sort of, like, she just would, like, subvert every sort of thing. Like, if there is, like, somebody, like, like chauvinist asshole male saying like i'm not mm-hmm. gonna go see barbie she's like no you should go see this movie you should, it's for you should. yeah yeah no yeah. it's for you actually you didn't mm-hmm. know that right yeah um so it's just really really clever um really clever how they oh, uh, yeah. took this film to marketing yeah i think they and definitely did a fun. good job yeah they did <laughs> nice pick pj that's a that's a good pick even oh, if yeah, it kind pick. of fudges the rules a little bit i mean we could disqualify it but we're gonna leave it in it's fine uh, and you can't disqualify me. I'll turn your channel off. I hate I'll, take, I'll take all my shit home. Are you going to take your ball and leave? You never met my daddy's daddy. You never met him. He's a real Marlboro man kind of guy. Like a no, yeah. no takes no shit kind of thing. Right. Loved to play soccer. And he would, when he was older, he tried to get a soccer men's soccer league going. And my dad played soccer since he was a kid, and he passed to his own goalie once, and the goalie kicked it, and the goalie wasn't paying attention and scored oh, on himself. No. And the other people on the team got so fucking mad at him, he picked his ball up and left. And it was the only ball in the game, so the game was over. <laughs> oh, my I was God. like, Dad, that's not very Marlboro Man of you. I mean, that's no. the guy out, but don't take your ball <laughs> yeah. and leave. He literally took his ball. He literally took his ball around the car and yeah. left. Yeah. yeah. He probably started that saying. <laughs> yeah. He's old enough. Uh, mm-hmm. That's probably where that came from. Um, all right, Stephanie, what is your second and final oh, pick for the best okay, trailer? So this one, I went for the more serious route. Um, and this is something like, I, I fucking love this trailer. Like, this is probably one of my favorite TV show trailers um, in a long time. And I really liked the editing, the sound design, the pacing in this trailer was just on point. And that's just like from that standpoint, like then you've got costume, makeup, hair, lighting, set design, like everything about this looks fantastic. And I cannot wait until February. (laughs) Like It it can't come soon enough. Um, So I chose Shogun. And uh, let's go ahead and roll that clip. We'll do in three, two, one. Oh, just the sound. Don't be fooled by our politeness. Our bows, yeah. our maze of rituals. It's nice. Death is in our air. That's a gorgeous shot. Oh, so yeah. pretty. And earth. That's cool. Just remember. Oh. It's on the beat as well. It's so cool. It is. It is mm-hmm. so perfect. We control nothing beyond that. Ugh. Yeah, so good. good. Uh, I will also say, 
Is that February? It's, yeah, yeah, February. Like it, on FX. So Feb- much in February. Yeah, yeah. that looks so, so FX, FX and Hulu. Wow. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I would so, have. They make some good shows. Picked this trailer, yeah. but Stephanie picked it first. <laughs> <laughs> I was typing so, so fast. I was like, "Yeah." So this would have been took my, Barbie and one I was of mine like, as well. Ah. I think it is one of the best TV show trailers I've ever seen. Oh. Sure. It, it, yeah, it looks like mm-hmm. it should be like a like a super expensive three hundred million dollar movie. Like oh, it yeah. looks incredible. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. It's phenomenal. It's a TV show. Yeah. It is. On FX. Like, yeah. How much an episode? I, I, I forget. Wow. It was a lot. Wow. But yeah, this is one of those like each shot I feel like you could frame, hang it up on a wall, and that's yeah. like a piece of art. Like totally. everything Photo about book. it. And it, like it goes back to like Japanese culture and everything about that. Like they're very like very succinct and like everything is so perfect. Like whenever mm-hmm. you watch like animes, it's like that's like what I get like from or like um mm-hmm. uh like Miyazaki, like all of his films, like and all that stuff. Like yeah. this is something like I'm like, this is beautiful. Yeah, all it's going to do well internationally too. It's mm-hmm. going to do really yeah, well. Yeah, good point. Ethics. Good point. Yeah, they uh, could market it if they market it well. Yeah, and uh, <laughs> you know what's I, I what and it always gets me like when trailers do incredible sound design like to the to like and with and they pick like that perfect tonal like underscore of piece it's of not music. An easy job. It's 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 in, it's, in, it's incredibly hard. And when you find it, in just and nobody wants to pay for it. Try to convince a client to spend some money on sound design. Yeah, for oh, I know, I know. And then and, the, and they have to be really clever. Like you always wonder, like in the trailer, like what they've added versus like what was shot, you know, or like mm-hmm. what they've, you know, like when the flip of the the clothes that matches. The, oh yeah. Whoop, 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 or like you the know, fan, and, like yeah. Yeah, the fan flip and the and, ADR uh, that's doing it. It's just mm-hmm. like some guys like. Different. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Up, up to the yeah. mic. That's the, it's the cricket the running foley. across oh, the yeah. wood. Yeah. 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 Foley, foley artist. Good. Thank you. <laughs> pretty good, PJ. I used to be a foley artist. Did you really? No. Yeah. Never. Yeah. Uh, same with the singer, huh? <laughs> never. Uh, yeah. No. I. I uh, that's a good pick, Stephanie. I think. Uh, I, I think that was on my short list for sure. Uh, yeah, and for yeah. a TV, I forgot about it. For a TV trailer too. Like, no, I, yeah. I don't think that's the only TV trailer we have in our in our list. Uh, I think so, nice actually. Yeah. Did I just yawn? I so, yawn. I'm tired. I need wow. Coffee. Is we, there coffee? Yeah. There's coffee. Fresh. Hey. <laughs> kind of fresh. Get me some coffee. Yeah. Uh, yeah. PA. Oh. No. Oh. Oh, she lives in Ireland. No. Mm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ireland. 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 yeah can you it's gonna be a hot minute yeah it might not yeah. be warm like tomorrow, yeah, virtual, virtual coffee that exit to you yeah i think if you yeah. leave now you kind of go back in time a little bit pagan right like today is tomorrow right it's actually like, true kinda, yeah. I mean, yeah i know it's no. tomorrow yeah. there already yeah is it, it tomorrow is. Well, yeah so she was almost not tomorrow, no, tomorrow she... there already it's half eight calm down <laughs> jesus christ you live that far in the future <laughs> but i can't tell you you gotta be in australia it's fine. Oh, right. good. good. When, yeah, yeah, when our Philippines yeah. team comes on, it's just like, so what day is it? <laughs> I know. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm, Every I'm Sunday, it's Friday, Monday. And they're it's like, America? it's my yeah. weekend. Yeah. Just yeah. Me alone. Three buttons on an app and coffee just arrives. Mm. <laughs> Fucking amazing. That would be lovely. Uh, I'm just jealous, honestly. Yes. All right. What do we that's, got? That's why you got married, just what to get me coffee. Um, My final trailer, my best trailer. And I think. In my opinion, the best trailer mm-hmm. of 2023. I know I snuck in and, and stole it. Um, <laughs> he who starts the email chain wins. wins. I know. <laughs> yes. So yeah. true. So true. I mean, Very I just wanted true. to give an example of what you yeah. guys had to do. I mean, um, he did give other options. I, I so, gave you know, I, I could have, yeah. Yeah, you guys could have snuck in and snagged it. Um, <laughs> we didn't want to take but your you win. That's fine. That's true. No. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> and I have a lot of wind to blow. Um, like, Oppenheimer. Just give him this. Anyway. Yeah. Just, get, just let him have it. Just let him have it. <laughs> that blow hard. <laughs> that that a all. Um, well, yeah, there. this trailer, guys. I mean, uh, I mean, it just like you watch this trailer, and there's just it's just it's just it's just art, right? Like the trailer's mm-hmm. just art. Um, and if and it's just a testament to how much art is into the movie because like you can't make a trailer like this without great cinematography you know great you know effects that he's done um but the sound design in this trailer is fucking incredible um there's a, i'm gonna tee up this trailer this this clip i picked there's a moment in the trailer where it starts to build a little bit more and there's this moment where you start to hear like people like almost like people like marching like clump clump and like it's all time to like lights turning on and like mm, how the mm-hmm. edits are done and then are you start you to tell us or show us and then no, I'm, I'm setting it up so you're listening for it when the trailer <laughs> when the clip plays and then you hear this and like this odd 
noise coming in that turns into like almost like a symphonic noise but it's like a it sounds like a like an alarm siren like a like a um an like air a, raid siren. an air raid siren yeah mm-hmm. that comes in yeah. but then it turns into like part of the score like you're like holy shit like they scored this trailer like that's like someone went in and was like we're gonna make a trailer that is like like a musical genius uh that's gonna come mm-hmm. in and do this thing um and it's just times so well to the to the picture um and it just makes you it just gives you that sense of dread in the trailer this like this countdown feeling that the trailer brings upon it which is kind of an old trope for trailers but it just it was done differently here because there's no true clock mm-hmm. um uh so i i don't know it just oh, we don't need to see it now i know I, I, that's what i'm, I'm <laughs> such a good storyteller great right, we'll yeah we'll roll the clip. We'll roll the clip. let's roll the clip all right pj three, two, one it would be over our boys would come home that's happening, isn't it? The world will remember this day. Our work here will ensure a peace mankind has never seen. Oh, I hear the air is there. Until somebody builds a bigger one. <laughs> isn't that crazy? And that's oh, it. So good. It is Nothing nice like though that said. like on the, <laughs> on the explosion, there's the lack of sound, which is so cool. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. I think they well, did and it I, I cut the it there too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The, the movie was great. I loved the movie. It was another one of those where the trailer I thought was not better. It's not this tough to say because the yeah. movie was fantastic. Yeah, but mm-hmm. it, the trailer I wanted more. I don't know if I wanted more or I just I got so frustrated with the with what he had to put up with, with all the bureaucracy and the crap in the mm-hmm. movie. It got me very, very angry in the movie. And how yeah. at the end, he was almost pretty much discredited. Yeah. And it wasn't until, you know, years and years later that he get his up and, and I just wanted to kill everybody else in the movie. <laughs> so maybe that's why I was a little disappointed <laughs> with it. But uh, Yeah, it's a hard movie to watch when... Yeah, it's a hard and, movie and, to watch. In the sense of, like, the it's done so well that the characters are sort of, like, struggling and you feel that you almost wanted that mm-hmm. armageddon moment where it's like mm-hmm. the president stands up and you're yeah it would yeah, have the, been too cheesy yeah the speech yeah yeah, mm-hmm. yeah yeah um yeah i mean do you guys have any thoughts i mean i know you guys all felt this tra- this uh was an incredible trailer too i don't know if you have anything to say i think just yeah, the trailer was probably the same as what you guys were saying sorry steph mm-hmm. do you want to oh, no, you're good um, no, you're good. I was just going to say, like, the sound design in the trailer was excellent. Um, I think the performances are excellent. The casting is great. The trailer really does suck you in. I do also think that the movie was um, not as, you know, like, brilliant as I thought it would be. Like, I, I don't know. I th- think there are other Nolan films that I really adore. I just didn't, like, I wasn't in love with I wanted more. Good, I, wanted, I wanted something because the trailer, was the expectation was so high after that trailer. It was still yeah. good though. Like I thought it was yeah. excellently mm-hmm. done and so well cast, so well acted. The use of the sound design in terms of like the lack of sound as well when the explosion goes off is just incredible. So yeah, I thought it was really cool, but I think the trailer, like trailer wise, it's one of the best trailers that came out for sure. Yeah, next to Barbie. Yeah. Steph? What do you <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Barbenheimer. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, you should have done Barbie and Oppenheimer. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Then it would have been, like, yeah we should have back to back as trailers. Yeah. 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 Just smash yeah. them together. What do you mm-hmm. think, Steph? Oh, I love that trailer so much. Like, I think that's such like there's something about like Hollywood cinematography and coloring and just how crisp everything looks. Like, there's that's like truly, I think, like picture wise, what makes a movie. So, like for me, like yeah, I was sold just with how beautiful everything was, and you could just really see that he put so much effort into that movie. And that trailer too was just it wasn't something that was just slapped together. You know, there was a lot of heart in that trailer as well. Um, like everything about that pacing and how it builds, and then you get to that quiet at the end of the trailer. Like that's just, uh, yeah. like you're yeah, like, oh my god, German shoulder, soldiers' feet. Is I don't know. I, I think it was yeah, like it just a, feels like the bomb. Like you know, like how like there's like that build. Like I think there's like a tick, 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 tick before it like goes yeah, off or stamping. something. It felt like yeah, it's like yeah, it sounds like like, like, <laughs> a, like a clock. <laughs> Yeah. yeah yeah it's it's super like it's a such a cool sound it just feels like marching towards your death or or something mm-hmm. and 
uh and then that air raid like i remember watching that trailer too in the theater and like like the hair on my arm like mm. stood up when that air raid siren mm-hmm. hit you know just like that like that moment of goosebumps you're like mm-hmm. what and then that giant ball of like fire yeah. i'm just like i was just like <laughs> like I, you know you just you go to movies to kind of be um like i don't know blown away you know and mm-hmm. uh those uh, christopher nolan continues to bring yeah moments in film that just continue to blow me away visually and and mm-hmm. and, and through story um i agree with you I, I agree with you all on on the movie it, it the trailer is incredible the movie is almost incredible it mm-hmm. does kind of as a christopher nolan film it's not my favorite nolan film to your point yeah. and i, I agree mm-hmm. uh, but like it's just one of those things where like you could just see the expert in craft like mm-hmm. the way he juggles timeline yeah is like kind of like something i've he just does it so well. I don't know mm-hmm. how to do it, but he That's makes it. That's a hard thing to do. Yeah. He made a three-hour movie not feel like three hours because of the way it jumps around through time and space and stuff like that. It's very mm-hmm. interesting how he can yeah. do that. He's um, good. Yeah. Yeah. He it's is. A very, he sure is. Because um, any other, any, in anybody else's hands, that movie would have been just dull as shit to watch. Um, just boring mm-hmm. as hell. Um, all right, that's our picks, guys, for the best trailers of 2023. I thought there was, we were missing one on that list. No, that's nope. it. That's but it. we are going to uh, – we did have – I wanted to do one final segment because we're always looking forward to 2024 and looking forward to the trailers or movies that are going to come out. And I kind of threw it to the guys, uh, the team here, to say, like, hey, what are you looking forward to? What's your most anticipated uh, thing? It could be a movie. It could be a game. It could be a TV show. It could be a, a trailer. Um, oh, I and- thought we had to do that trailer we haven't seen yet it could be a trailer you haven't seen and it could be a movie or mm-hmm. like uh, anything that's coming yeah. out next year that you're just sort mm-hmm. of like really really anticipating um seeing something footage of or something that you're like i can't wait to like sink my teeth into that yeah because uh, i was trying to find something that there was nothing yet there was nothing you got oh. nothing no no nothing on the yet. oh yeah yeah Mine was Deadpool mm. three Deadpool 3 and I couldn't find a trailer for it. Oh, Deadpool, Deadpool 3. 3 trailer. There's no Deadpool. No, cuz they, lot they of started leaked. filming and then they had to stop and then yeah, there's yeah. like a lot of yeah, a so lot of leaked that stuff. That was the one where I could not so. find footage that I was like I'm really interested to see what that's yeah. going to look like. Deadpool 3 is yeah. probably going to be really fun because of um Hugh Jackman's mm-hmm. involvement as well, so. Yes. That's going to be a good one. Oh. Yeah, so so who goes first? <laughs> <laughs> uh, sometimes I wonder if your brain how your brain works. <laughs> I may donate your brain oh, to that's science. Give me the time. Have you checked that box uh, on the back of your driver's license that says like donate or because if they do, I might, yeah. I, I, might, I, might yeah. I might be like, hey, yeah, yeah. hey, uh, yeah. take it. He needs a little study in. There's something wrong mm-hmm. here. Maybe we mm-hmm. could fix it for future I just that was funny. people. Uh, so. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the comedian. Well, PJ, Deadpool 3. Yep. There yes. you go. Uh, and you stole Pagan's pick. That was well. your pick. Yeah. Too? All good. Yeah, I thought I thought Deadpool 3 looks really good, but I do have other picks. Um, the yours? War of the Ring, um, oh, sorry, the Lord of the Rings, War of the Rohirrim, is supposed to be coming mm-hmm. out to next year, 2024, late next year. Still nothing on it. We've barely got some casting, um, but it's a an animated picture that will basically be based 250 plus years before the timeline of like the events of the Two Towers, for example. Um, mm. So that should be really, really good. I am hoping to get more on that next year literally nothing apparently it was announced ages ago i found this out on my um my brother-in-law's podcast that they were doing this movie and there's still nothing about it so i'm hopeful um but i have some honorable mentions so some video games that i'm excited for is senua's saga hellblade 2 can't wait for that looks fucking epic and the technology they're developing to do all that stuff live on their soundstage is incredible the little nightmares 3 I love a little nightmare series so good to do and really creepy and this was is going to be co-op and um the film that is coming out that is gonna kind of spook me what i do think looks really interesting is nosferatu <laughs> they're remaking nosferatu oh, with yes. bill skarsgård hmm. and yeah i'm interested oh, i'm intrigued mm-hmm. i'm intrigued to see i'm intrigued mm. yeah it's him and uh lily rose depp and lily then, rose depp yeah that's right um and then, oh, who, is it Oscar Isaac? Or is it, no, it's not Oscar Isaac. Who is it? I do, I, I, oh, to Bill and Lily Rose, I'm not sure. Yeah. Rose in it, but I saw, it like, an, uh, a poster, I think, recently to announce that they're going to do it. Nice. And, of course, freaking Hideo, Hideo Kojima is going to be making a fucking baby yes. in the glass box movie. So I can't wait to see that, but I don't know when that's going to come out. <laughs> Yeah, never. I mean, yeah, not it's never, like, like 20, forever. 20. forever. <laughs> like, yeah, probably, yeah, yeah, yeah. It'll be yeah. a few years yeah, yeah, yeah. out. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So uh, that should be good. No, the, 
I love the I love the I love the the Lord of the Rings pick. Like I'm, mm-hmm. I, I I don't know what I'm I'm really hungry for more like really cool fantasy. I the don't get me wrong the Amazon, um, Prime, um, Rings of Power is pretty good. Um, it's not bad. It it could be better. Yeah, it could be. Better. Um, I gave up on it. Uh, wow. I don't know why. Yeah. Oh. Uh, it it kind of <laughs> lands the ship, sort of ish, uh, ish. I give it, I give it an ish. Um, but yeah, I like that. I'd like to see an animated. I, it's yeah. it's weird that they haven't done more animated Lord of the Ring. Like that just feels right mm. for. It's weird, yeah. And I think yeah. that maybe that the the prequel trilogy that they did, like the Hobbit trilogy, I think probably that would have worked better as an animated. Although I, I do I love Martin Freeman as Bilbo. I think he's just excellent. But yeah, there's just some. I always stuff say in I don't want animation. Film, you know. I just always say I don't want animation, and then there's Blue White Samurai, and then there's the boys. Oh, animation. It's so yeah, you just love it. You can't. Oh, no. You can't get away from it. Good animation is good animation, you know? Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. it's really good. Yeah. It's a good uh, story. Can we do, we can yes. do a good story in it. Yeah, and you can mm-hmm. visually do things that are just incredible. Mm-hmm. I'm yeah. always, whenever I watch him, I'm like, wow. Like, um, yeah. So cool. So hopeful, uh, hopeful about this this one. Um, but yeah. Yeah, it should be good. I hope, do you know who's helming it? Is it. Uh, Helming it? Sorry, because that's the name like, of the character. <laughs> oh. The, the character um, um, is going to be... Oh, I can't remember who's playing him now. The words escape me. Brian Cox. Oh, oh, I was thinking, Brian Cox is oh. going to be voicing Helm... Oh, no shit. Hammer something. He's like the title character, hmm. but that's where Helm's Deep comes from. Like, that's where oh, okay. um, the name comes from. And then Miranda Otto is also reprising her role as Eowyn, but I think it's for, like, nice. framing... Pref- like you know she's going to be animated guess... but Eowyn is 250 something plus years you know later than the, t- right. the timeline of this video so i'm very excited Interesting. i'm excited to see do you know it. who's directing or, or like i guess when i said helming like kind of like show running or, or creating that you know um i did look it up and i just i don't know i don't think i've seen much of their work before yeah no worries. i'll just double check it um it is kenji kamiyama Okay. And they've done a lot of, it looks like, um, uh, Japanese animation. So they did like Ghost in the Shell. They were head writer on that TV show. Nice. Um, they were also on the Black Runner, sorry, Blade Runner Black Lotus TV series was written oh, by nice. someone. Hmm. So they've, cool. they've done a lot of writing and stuff like that. Director, it doesn't seem like they've done a lot of. It looks like they're brand new director. Hmm. So that's good. Okay. Very cool. Yeah. No, uh, that's a good. Good. I I forgot all. I didn't even really realize anything about that. Or I may have heard something, but I totally forgot all about it. So yeah. Nice. Same. I think like I think everybody did, and I don't think I heard it before. And then it was like my brother-in-law who was like, "Do you know about this film coming out?" I was like, "What? No. What the fuck?" But we still haven't heard anything yeah, of right. it. Like, there's hardly any artwork. There's actually nothing come out yet. So I'm hopeful to get more of that mm. next year. Yeah. Let's see. Yeah, fingers crossed. All right, Steph, what's your um, most anticipated thing coming out in 2024, or hopefully to come out in 2024? You know, so this is something I think is going to be in all of our fans' wheel houses. <laughs> just kidding. Um, but I think I even <laughs> talked about it last year because I'm just so excited just because I'm a big fan of this. I've been listening to it for like over 10 years now or whatever it's been. Um, so I've been eager, like, and now I'm like really eager. Like I've saved all of the leaked photos um because i'm too excited and i need official footage i need official footage of this i need to hear i need a trailer i need music i need all that stuff so it's a musical um it's wicked (laughs) so i can't wait for that movie to come out i need official stuff because yeah i have like on my phone like all of the leaked photos like anything that was leaked i was like save (laughs) were they leaked i thought they were official i thought those photos i think they're I, they were I don't know i feel like it's like the same thing as like yeah. deadpool 3 like there's a lot of stuff there's like a video of like a distant video of like ariana grande so i think it was kind okay. of official <clears throat> because they definitely had like a perimeter set up for filming where like paparazzi was but yeah, or whatever it, do, it does look like them. they were leaked photos okay. but um, yeah which is good because so like cool the early photos i saw i was like wow i can't really it looks dark i can't tell what the hell's going you know like i'm like i'm like this doesn't look well lit you know please light it better please uh because they did have like a few posters that they released but that was it yeah um so i'm i'm excited for a teaser and we're getting closer and closer it's going to be released in two parts sure um so we'll definitely get like a trailer um because it's supposed to come out in 2024 but still set to for the same date um okay so i'm excited for that and then my honorable mention um 
is uh, Bridgerton season three. Uh, <laughs> nice. I have been sitting on the end of edge of my seat, like waiting and waiting and waiting. And then, you know, all the strikes happen. So, you know, it's understood that it was delayed. Oh, yeah. Oh, but yeah. Yeah. yeah, so May, May we Mar- are getting Mar-a-watch. the first part of season three. Really? Okay. So, yeah. Um, it's a long wait, but, you know, we'll get a teaser. Oh, really? <laughs> Hopefully soon. First but, part of season three. Uh, you know, hey, hey, hey. But yeah. Let's put it all out there so we can. Binge I know. It, I don't like, like those two days. parts. Yeah, I, I hate know. the. Yeah. I hate the like releasing in two parts thing. Like, just I let know. me binge in peace, okay? Let me yeah. be disgusting on a weekend, and I don't want to <laughs> move for twelve hours. <laughs> totally. I just want to binge See, my shit, okay? Like, right. Yeah. What business is it of yours, Netflix? Just let me fucking binge it, okay? <laughs> exactly. Like, That's what they get, did with the crown. We got to get your your twenty dollars for two months. That's why. Yeah. You, you know what? If there was an already. option, I swear to God, if there was an option to like pay a little extra and you get all, all mm-hmm. I'll fucking, mm-hmm. I'll pay it. Don't, don't so. say that shit. I ain't paying extra. It's an option. It's an option. Yeah. yeah. It's an option. I'd be like, don't give him any yeah. ideas to, to charge us more money for You shit. don't need to hit I accept uh, all yeah. the time. You, know? uh, you can say no. Yeah. Oh, man. Uh, uh, all right, Drew, what's on. yours? Um, <laughs> Lord. Yeah, no, Wicked, Wicked's good. That's a good pick. I'm su- actually surprised that hasn't come out yet. Uh, kind of blown away. Right. Um, <laughs> considering the play's been out for, whatever, 20 years? Um, <clears throat> yeah, so my picks are, I have, like uh, like everybody else, uh, two things to talk about. First is Alien Romulus. Um, oh, okay. So big fan of the Alien franchise. Love uh, Aliens, Alien, Alien 3. Wait, um, Aliens and Romulus? Like the Romulans from n- Star Trek? No, it's just oh. that's just what no. it's called. <laughs> Alien colon Romulus. Uh, mm-hmm. Who knows? So Romulus, obviously, in the historical context, was sort of like the... It was like the... Um, the wolf. Not, uh, the wolf that, yeah. like, you know, and the two sons, like, fed off of and became, like, whatever. Um, you know, so I think there's something there, like this idea mm-hmm. of, like, breeding um, from an alien. Um, but what's interesting, it's it's directed by the uh, the guy who did uh, Evil Dead, um, oh. the, the remake film. Yeah. The original, like, not the original Sam Raimi, but the, but the remake Evil Dead, uh, which is, I thought, was incredible. Uh, F- uh, F- F- Fide Alvarez? I, I'm going to butcher his name probably uh but i'm i'm interested to see a more horror take mm. on that franchise right like mm. it's kind of gotten really ridley scott's versions are very sci-fi which i love but i think it'd be interesting to get a more horror take on that I never considered yeah those horror. I, I can see how they were horror though but i i always hear always if you stand up we can hear you because your mic is no, i'm talking to myself all right that makes sense <laughs> um <laughs> Uh, so yeah, no, I, I think I just I'm I'm excited for a very good version, another franchise take on aliens. Like, cause I I thought what Ridley Scott did was okay, not great. Yeah. So I'm excited for someone else to kind of put their lens on it and kind of give us something new and fresh. Uh, which I'm because sure. I kind of want that to keep going, and because uh, I think there's a lot to to pull from. Uh, and then my second pick is uh, Andor season two, um, mm. Star Wars. Uh. No, no, no shame there. It's uh, that first season was just phenomenal, like the best Star Wars I've seen in a long time, um, probably since Rogue One. So, uh, yeah, I mean, if they can, if they can do what they did in season one and replicate that, uh, yeah, yeah, that's the rumor. I've heard some things. You've heard things. Anything you want to share to, to share to Daddy? That's Daddy gonna Drew? make you happy. <laughs> yeah, Daddy probably. <laughs> All right. Well, Andor season two <laughs> and uh, Alien Romulus are my two uh, hopefuls. Uh, we will see some footage, a trailer, something. Please give it to me <laughs> a um, in 2024. Hopefully they come out in 2024, but who knows yeah. with everything that's going on. Um, and with that, we will wrap up this year. Um, trailer talk. Um, I think we're going to also say goodbye to Pagan this today. This is her. We caught that. You say goodbye. Out of your mic. We caught that. that was, in, uh, say with the chest, PJ. The stream will never end. We can't say goodbye. I know. She's going to step away from trailer talk for a while and kind of focus on her own stuff. She's got her own channel that's kind of kind of got some steam. So um, I don't know. Pagan, do you have any anything, final words? I hate you, you all. I hated with? every minute of this. I, I know. 
I truly shy, believe we that. Stick, you know. <laughs> You're finally free. All kidding. All kidding. All kidding. No, I love you guys. This has been so much fun, and um, I'm taking more time to like focus on my personal life and potentially starting a family sometime soon. Yay. So I'd like to sort or of at like least practicing. Get in. Yeah, just some practice is basically what my husband said. <laughs> so we got to get some practice in there. Got to make some time for that. And uh, yeah, if anybody is interested, my socials and everything are still linked in all of these descriptions. So you're welcome to follow me there. Um, but yeah, just taking some personal time out. Thank you all so much for having me. It's been such a pleasure here. I've learned so much from Drew and PJ. Stephanie, I love you two bits. Um, not that I don't love you, PJ and Drew, but I didn't want to well, make it awkward. It's a different way. That's kind it's of a different way. Love. It's a sexual yeah. way. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want to be, didn't want to be awkward know, about it, like, but I guess, I guess it's it. here. <laughs> 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 That's what she said. Yeah. Yeah. Just shut up and take it. Oh, Whoa. okay. Okay. Uh, um, yeah. But thank you guys so much for having me. It's been a pleasure. It's no, been a great. It's been great. Thank and you. and you know, hopefully, you know, if when the like another Zack Snyder film comes up, maybe we call on yes. you. And Listen. You can yes. give us your hot take. Hit me up. <laughs> Hit me up. I'm I'll, I'll DM Zack Snyder after this to make sure. lukewarm takes I've had throughout the whole thing. I've got you. Yeah, totally. Same or standard maybe a, steamed yeah. takes. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> same, same hot and bothered uh, for, yeah, yeah. for the, we for the to, Snyder. Do we get to leave the basement? Seems like everybody left and we're still fucking here. Where? In we're, the basement. There, there's no basement. You know it's you not real. You live in the basement. We're in a studio. We actually work oh. here. Stop. Oh. Don't ruin the illusion. <laughs> I just want that. Richard to walk by, you know, at one point. You know, just like he's in the shadows, yeah. like just occasionally <laughs> have like some kind of like you know the lighting trick where it like looks like he's open yeah, the shutter and just like, like keep it the down truck, down yeah. there and then just yeah. close the yeah. shutter. Yeah. You're too yeah. loud. Kids. He could actually call you a kid. <laughs> yeah. uh, he's that old. Uh, no, uh, and so it's. I know it's. It feels like goodbye, but it's not goodbye. You'll be around. And, I'm and still we'll, around, absolutely, yeah. and I'm still yeah. here to be contributor uh, at around, whenever around, I can. Around. So. I'm hungry. I'm all G. <laughs> Pagan's trying to get all Standard. sappy and you're all hungry. I know, yeah. Jesus. Jesus. Pagan's not going anywhere. We'll be fine I mean, I mean, I mean, you know, give her. Uh, yeah. I'm coming to Ireland yeah. for Christmas next year. Oh, yeah. Aww. Or no. 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 <laughs> no. I, I moved. Wait. I moved. Come to Dublin for the day and we will have the crack. Because yeah. I'll go to Dublin for yes. the day. You don't, you don't need to come here yes. because Wexford is boring. I love Wexford yeah. with my dear, dear heart. But for like tourists and stuff, I'm like, oh, this is upsetting for you. Go somewhere yeah, we'll that's class. Yeah. All right. Take us home, Drew. All right. Thank you, everybody. <laughs> um, thank you, PJ. Thank, thank you, you, Stephanie. And thank you, Pagan, for uh, thank you, uh, Pagan. Making, making trailer talk uh, as good as it is. Merry um, Christmas. And uh, yeah, Merry Christmas to everybody as well. Yeah, this will be our final trailer talk for the year. Um, we also take a hiatus most of january usually you kick it back up in february, february march. Yeah. <laughs> so if you're like where's trailer talk just you know like do you think somebody's gonna say that yeah everybody sometimes yeah you know, yeah because <laughs> yeah everybody sometimes those two mm -hmm. people in the dms just, there's, there's yeah. like at least the memo. You know? four and a half um by analytical standpoint so um <laughs> The data says. Yeah, the data says. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, if you're if you're looking for Trailer Talk, obviously you can DM me or or anybody at in Couch Soup. Mm -hmm. And if you want to support Trailer Talk or any show or any creator or contributor um, on Couch Soup, please, please, please go to CouchSoup.com uh, and sign up, become a member. It's free, which is great uh, because then you can kind but of. That's be, not the supporting. But part. That's not the supporting part. But if you want <laughs> to just be a part of the community and you get to like you know, unlocks the our community circle and unlocks commenting and stuff like that, uh, you can do that, and that's great because I know uh, it's fi finances are tough. It's the holidays, you know, like focus on your family and stuff. But if you want to support us, uh, there are some really cool. We're family. Yeah, we are. We are family, family actually. We are. Couch Soup is like a little mini family. Exactly. It's really cool. Uh, and we all, we're getting together later today for a little Q&A. Uh, so that'll be fun. I'm presenting right. a, a, a little mini deck, guys. You guys oh, got to right. tune in for that. Did you bring booze? Mm. No, but I will find some. Mm. You can find some. Um, <laughs> yeah, I will. Get I will creative. make it. Yeah. Get creative, guys. Um, <laughs> all right and that'll do it guys thank you we have uh, a few more shows until the end of the year before we we kind of go dark obviously screen smash uh the smashies <laughs> i think air um i've already aired but you'll see it on friday if you missed it on twitch um mm -hmm. the 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 smashies are the couch soups game awards uh so if you're not into the game awards 
because which is basically smashing a, success yeah it's a awesome. come check out the smashies <laughs> where we actually are awards by real gamers who actually know what the fuck is good um and then also <laughs> right after this our incredibly like it's guys this show is hot watching now the monarch files recapping mm -hmm. monarch legacy of monsters uh it's it's on fire people are loving it people are loving the show the recaps these guys do are on point like in literally like an hour that show mm -hmm. is going that episode is premiering here on youtube uh recapping last week's episode so and if you want to get early access to that the podcast came out yesterday as well as um the on couchsoup.com you can catch that episode early so and with that we will catch you guys later everybody's gone already buddy really no, no i was doing here. my thing I, I thought it's just a, just a girl it's just here. a girl well it's you're here well, you girl. didn't still doing here go home I'll never leave you <laughs> get out of <laughs> you here stay. get out of uh, here go home all right everybody thank you so God much bless us, everyone have a good holidays yes. happy holidays everybody bye, -bye. Yes. bye yes bye